this right here is my everyday makeup drawer it's just like a clear acrylic organizer that i got at uh tj maxx i think it was like ten dollars or so and it has a lot of compartments it has one two three four five six seven eight nine compartments so let's just go ahead and get into what is in my current everyday drawer for the month of october no long intro for this video because i have no idea how long this is gonna be so let's just go ahead and get started so for palettes this doesn't fit but i did want to include it in this video i am going to just be storing it here because this is usually like this leaning up against my mirror i don't know why i have so many eyeshadow palettes in here but we are just gonna start this is just such a gorgeous beautiful palette and i think that it is perfect you know for year round springtime summer but also for fall these shades right here just scream like a neutral fall look so i am excited to get some use out of this for the month of october this palette back in april and i love this one like this is just such a stunning beautiful palette perfect for an everyday use you could do like even like a nice pretty like neutral everyday look you could do like a nice like rosy look or like more of like a glam for like a night out so this palette is absolutely gorgeous colors are very easy to blend super pigmented you cannot go wrong with this palette i bought this the day that i launched that ulta and i pretty much only used it once if it looks beat up it's because i really just went in and swatched a lot of the colors this section right here just screams fall time for me so that's why it's in my everyday drawer for the month of october i do want to get more use out of this palette attention just right away goes to these six shades at the end but i am excited to like dig and play around with these colors over here this is the makeup revolution conceal and define full coverage foundation i have this in the shade f3 really love this foundation it is super full coverage and i find that i don't really have to touch up throughout the day it does help with like with my oiliness so I absolutely love this foundation of lip products so these are some of the lip products that i have for i guess just for like an everyday use for the month of october a matte shade and i have this in the shade parker love this i think that it is such like a comfortable formula to wear that is very pigmented super pretty like it's just a gorgeous like transitioning into fall sort of color it's been one of my ultimate favorite glosses of like all time i think this has to be like my number one favorite gloss this is from anastasia and i have this in the shade toffee this shade is absolutely beautiful i remember that i got a sample of this i believe in like a little goodie bag from Ulta. This is from the Morphe and Jeffree Star Round 3 collab. And this is a Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mannequin. This is like the perfect nude for me. I absolutely love this shade. It is so pretty, very comfortable on the lips. I love it. This is the Arti Artistry Studio 2-in-1 Matte Lip Crayon from the new Bangkok Edition Collection. Just pretty much like a nice pretty brick red shade. It's so pretty. I love it. Then the last product that we have here, this is from Kylie Cosmetics. I have been wearing this shade pretty much non-stop since I bought this back in August. And as you can see, no longer has the K. So that just shows how much I've been using it. But this is like the perfect shade of pink. Like a pink nude color. We have quite some stuff in the eye section. From Artistry Studio, the NYC Edition Collection. And these are two-in-one eye sticks. I have these in the shade Brooklyn Brown as well as Tribeca Teal. I did feature the Tribeca Teal one in my Coral and Teal Makeup Book. I'll go ahead and link that down below if you haven't watched that already. Just like pop these in the crease or all over the lid. Just blend that out. Pop on some mascara and then you're good to go for the day. So I do really like these. This is the Anastasia Brow Definer. I think I have mine in the shade Medium Brown. 
yeah so i have mine in the shade medium brown this is super good just for like an everyday use because you really only take maybe like three to five minutes on your eyebrows and i'm someone who hates spending so much time on their eyebrows so i absolutely love this product for mascara i have here this is the artistry studio bangkok mascara base primer fallen in love with this product it does add a lot of volume it does add a little bit of length to my lashes so i have really been liking this really go in with my artistry studio nyc lash boosting 3 in 1 mascara if you have it like this long it is just to like lengthen your eyelashes and then if you shorten it then this is to give them a lot of volume second tube of this i think i do need to go ahead and replace this only because it is getting a little bit dry maybelline great last lots of lashes mascara did get this recently at target i just love this it really does separate your lashes very nicely and i am obsessed and this is like beautiful at separating my bottom lashes makes them look beautiful and i want to get more into eyeliner like doing a wing so i just put in here just the hank and henry slick with it a uh, long wearing liquid liner little tip liner long wearing eye pencil in brown this is just something that i do want to finish up I do just have a little bit of it pretty much like half of it left so i do just want to go ahead and finish this up uh, artistry studio makeup setting spray this is actually my second bottle of the setting spray and i absolutely love it i do still have two backups of this left and i use this almost every day it really just helps with setting my makeup very very nicely doesn't leave a weird like a residue on it like a weird i don't know because sometimes some setting sprays they don't really set into your makeup so this does the perfect job the artistry hydra v sheer weightless foundation this contains spf 15 and i have mine in the shade bisque l1 n1 so this is honestly like the perfect very light 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 weight foundation for those days when you really don't want to like put on a lot of foundation you just need a little a little bit of coverage so i do really like this this gives you like a nice pretty dewy glow this is easily like my fifth or sixth bottle of this foundation i think i do only have a little bit of this left so i do need to repurchase this again soon from juvia's place this is the i am magic velvety matte foundation i have this i believe in the shade 720 valley and i bought this since it launched back in june and it's absolutely full full coverage a little bit of this foundation goes a super super long way you don't need a lot and it does really give you like a nice full coverage look but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin this does a really good job at covering up like all redness like blemishes like darkness any unevenness in your skin so highly highly recommend this and i think juvia's place is launching a new stick foundation so i'm excited to try that as well so starting off with primers um I have this is the Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Poreless Blur Primer Goodbye Pores. That is a long mouthful. Super super good at just giving you that that like seriously what this says on the packaging. That's exactly what it does. Really really good job at just blurring everything out, and it just makes whatever foundation you put on it just makes it look completely flawless from artistry it's the exact fit beauty bomb perfecting primer this has spf 35 in it and this is really good at reducing the redness that i have on my face the juvia's place concealer i have this in the shade 23 and this one is in 12 and fair neutral these are super good full coverage concealers they oh my goodness i pretty much just use just to cover up a little bit of darkness any unevenness and just also to clean up my brows as well as prime my eyelids for concealer i did just recently buy the tarte shape tape um when it was on sale for 21 days of beauty at ulta and i pretty much got this for about 470 something it was on sale i believe for 1350 and then i had some points saved up so i did only pay less than five dollars for this i am so late to the game with this but 
I love this as well as the Juvia's Place concealer. I absolutely love the On The Go face and eye palettes from Artistry. All three from the NYC collection. I think here I only have Midtown Medium, Downtown Deep, and then this is the new one from the Bangkok Edition collection. This one has pretty much three eyeshadows, a highlighter, and two blushes. These are very pigmented, easy to blend out, and these can also be used as eyeshadows. So, love this palette. This is like my all time favorite on the go palette from Artistry. As you can see, this has been used and abused, and it is no longer available to purchase online. I don't know why, but <laughs> I love this. It's just, it's such a perfect palette for like everyday use. So, I'm gonna be really sad the day that I finish this up. So this is the Downtown D palette. This is super pretty. I love using this shade as like to highlight my brow bone. This is like a nice pretty eyeshadow. This blush, I use it as well as like an eyeshadow. And then this powder, this is like a setting powder, but I use it to bronze up my cheeks. Start off with these two products here. These are two... Uh, sticks from ColourPop. This is a highlighter and this is in the shade Bullseye and then this is in the shade Under Pressure and then this is blush. I really really like these. These are very creamy, easy to blend. I am not really the kind of person that is into like stick products like this but these are just so easy to blend out. I usually have such a hard time blending out like stick products like this but these are very easy to blend out with either like your sponge or with your fingers or even with your any like brushes that you have so love those i do need to get some more of those and i'm glad that they brought them to ulta because colourpop takes forever to ship out stuff morphe and jeffree star collab and this is on another floor liquid lipstick in the shade leo this is also just like another perfect shade for fall it's like a nice dark orange brownie like a brick orange color i absolutely love this as well for a powder this is the juvia's place i am magic setting powder and i have this in the shade white sands this is also super good at just setting the makeup setting your foundation your concealer and I have noticed also a big difference in the oiliness on my skin. I have two highlighters here. The first one is from Artistry Studio. This is from the NYC collection. This is just an illuminating light up compact in Broadway lights. I use this in almost all of my Artistry tutorials. I love this. You could either mix all three shades together or just use one or just use two. You can make a combination. And then it does also light up here. Mine is almost dead only because I did leave it on one time by accident all night. So I do love, love, love this highlighter. It's just so, so pretty. The other highlighter that I have, which I fell back in love with, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Crystal High, and I believe this was limited edition. I have no idea if this is still sold. I got mine at Walgreens, but it's just such the prettiest, prettiest highlighter ever. It gives, it's like a wet highlighter. Bun. and it's really like blinding and then i do have two small eyeshadow palettes right here the first one is the mac and aladdin palette like your nine pan eyeshadow palette i absolutely love this to just like throw on all over the crease and then just put whatever shimmery color i'm feeling that day you do just want to go ahead and deepen up the look a little bit you can go in with this dark plum color well, dark plum color as well as like this like gray black so i have no idea if this is still available to purchase but this one was also a limited edition this is the artistry signature color eyeshadow quad in all day i'm sorry all out glam pretty much comes with this pretty highlighting shade that can be used either in your inner corner i personally love to just highlight my brow bone with this and also just put it all over the lid and then these are two like glittery 
sort of eyeshadows but i reached for this palette simply because of this shade here as well as this black just whenever i want to make like an eyeshadow look look a little bit more like sultry like smoky i'll just like throw this a little bit in the outer v oh hello you can see me right here compartment that we have here like an eyeshadow duo from our district these were limited edition i love these like i've really just been wanting to get back into them um this is just like a nice pretty like little copper shade and then this shade is like the perfect highlighter for like all over your face and your eyes and the last two things that i have in here these are the artistry studio cheek and lip duos these came out from the paris collection and i have all three but the ones that i want to get more use out of for this month it's these two right here so i do just want to get more into like stick products so i'm very excited to start playing around with these more and getting more use out of them okay so that is pretty much it for today's video i'm gonna keep doing these kinds of videos like monthly because i do want to rotate the products that i have in this drawer at the start of every month so these were just the products that i will be trying to get more use out of for the month of october so we'll see how it goes like this video if you enjoyed it be sure to give this video a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already right now my filming schedule is i'm still undecided um what days but i know that for sure i want to put out at least two to three videos every week once i set an actual uploading schedule then i will let you guys know just be sure to subscribe if you haven't already make sure to follow me on instagram i do post a lot of more artistry related things on there so if you like that then follow me on instagram as well that is pretty much it for today's video i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it it means the world to me also i am planning a 100 subscriber giveaway so once we reach also this lighting makes me look like i have no product on my brow but i do okay it's just coming as soon as we hit 100 enjoy see you guys in my next video bye